Welcome to another episode of the 604 Garage. Here's how I bought the car. Bone stock with a set of Keystone wheels. So I built a 355 for it. 291 camel bump heads, half inch lift cam. She went pretty good. Poly 650 double pumper, three inch exhaust. 410 gears, 3000 stall. Then I found some rust. So I did a little bit of repair and then I went to work underneath the car and even put a little stereo in the back. But somewhere around 2004 I decided I'm going to build myself an LS. So a 6 liter LQ4 out of the junkyard was freshened up. Stock crank, stock rods and a set of aftermarket pistons. Originally it went in the car, it was a set of homemade headers and a carburetor. I rebuilt the Holly 700 double pumper and it worked okay. But eventually decided to buy a brand new Holly HP 750 which worked a lot better after that. But the carburetor was never exactly the way I wanted the car to be. I bought it with the intention of going factory fuel injection. So the cold starts weren't always the greatest. The throttle response wasn't always the greatest. So it was time to go fuel injection. So slowly but surely I pieced together all the parts needed to convert to factory EFI. It took a while as I had no idea what I was looking for, but eventually through the forums, I found everything I needed and we got a first start. After a bit of playing around, a bit of tuning, she could idle on her own. and throttle response was already much better when she was pulled. But there's just something I didn't like about that three inch exhaust. So I was off to the exhaust shop to get a nice set of Magnaflows and a two and a half inch system with an X-pipe installed. And after that the car sounded much, much better. So onto the suspension and most importantly for every car, wheels. So I ended up getting a set of Koi's 18 inch wheels. A lot nicer, a lot wider than the factory 15's. They're still somewhat period correct and they made the car look phenomenal. So it was time to go and see what this thing could do on the dyno. Unfortunately, the dyno kept crashing and the only good run I got was this gear. Now even though this car still had the automatic trans, I enjoyed doing a lot of autocrossing with it. And even did, of course, some drag racing with it. This is the first pass you see here. I'm trying to get things figured out. 
Eventually, she ran a 12.2 at 110. Not bad. So at this point, the car was working really well. But I like to roll my own gears, so that automatic has got to go. And with that T56 installed, the car was working a lot better. A lot more fun on that Friday night hangout. Second gear rubber is absolutely one of that car's favorite thing to do. Well, that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the content and you want to support a guy, please subscribe, like, comment in the videos. Until next time, Keep the shiny side up. And remember, the best time of year to enjoy your project is all year round. Take care and have a great night.